Hi, I'm Kim Weber with the Gimpy Gourmet. We're getting, this is our very first ever sponsored video. And it's a really great story how it ended up to be a sponsored video. Last week, our visiting vet was coming to see us, Dr. B. Booty. She came in as we were testing out the recipe that we're going to be showing you today. And she was so happy that she sponsored us to make a video showing how to make all of you how to make this soup. She gave it 25 stars. So in Dr. B land, that's pretty excellent. And we gave her good enough instructions on how to make it that she made it at home the next night and her text said it was really yummy. So anyway, what we're baking is a red curry coconut soup with chicken. Um, it's got some Thai flavors in it. You'll recognize those. It's, it's really easy. We're going to be cooking it again with our induction up. My first thing to make this easier for you guys is um, I got ginger that was already peeled, chopped, everything in a tube, like in a toothpaste tube. And I can squeeze it out to the exact measurement that I need. And I don't have to chop it. I don't have to worry about it. And it's delicious. I did the same thing with garlic. It saves time. So that's our time savers for this. We've got red curry, which this is a red curry in coconut milk, which is fine with me because we're going to have coconut milk in this. Um, we're going to be using bone broth. Bone broth is, you have to cut it with water to make give it a soup consistency and we're going to be I'll, we'll get when we get to that point I'll tell you about it um, and so let's just start cooking this soup so the first thing that we want to do is put about a teaspoon of just regular vegetable oil in the pan and we're going to put in about a tablespoon, which really sounds like a lot, but it's really not. Or it doesn't sound like much, and it is, whichever way you're thinking. But th but that th this is kind of the base of all Thai and all Indian cooking is to have ginger and garlic. And in India, they even keep little jars of ginger and garlic chopped together in oil in the refrigerators kind of as a you know the, the the real way of doing what i'm doing right here so anyway and it came out perfectly we're going to turn this on the reason i didn't put that in the hot oil is i want this vinegar uh, oh what is that that's garlic and ginger <laughs> i want it to infuse the oil so let's see now we have to turn this on. And here we go. Let's see. Stir this around so it doesn't burn. I'm gonna let it go. Once it starts kind of sizzling, we're gonna let it go for about 30 seconds or until it gets fragrant. Let's just say it that way. Okay, this is getting kind of bubbly. So let's add our red curry into it now so we can kind of fry it. There's instructions and things like that. You know, you can look in recipe books and Thai recipe books and they'll tell you how to make red curry. But I'll tell you how I make it. I go right to the store. Take the help. It's there. You'll see, you know, especially in things that are like the basics, like garlic, ginger, curry. Take the help. Make it easy on yourself. This should be something that you can put together really quickly. And it tastes delicious, and it tastes 
as Dr. Moody says, just like they give you in the restaurant, or better. So, let's turn this down a little bit. It's beginning to sizzle. I'm gonna start measuring up our bone broth. What we're looking for is three cups. That was about two. We made this recently. <laughs> you want to shake this really well. It's kind of gelatinous. And that comes from, it's just good bone broth. And you'll see it's a little cloudy. That's because it had bones in it. This wasn't just, you know, stock that was made with pieces of chicken and some onions. So. Okay. So add this to your base. Okay, now let's work on putting together this. This is the coconut milk. And every once in a while, I don't know how this happens, every once in a while I get a can of this that's kind of homogenized. And it's really wonderful, and I always wish that I get that can again, but I don't. I get the one where the cream's at the top, and the kind of coconut water, or a little bit thinner coconut milk is at the bottom and I have to mix it. And that's what I've got this time. And these peel off cans. Okay, so we're looking again for that three cups. I know there's not gonna be three cups of coconut milk in here. But there's gonna be about two. And that's the coconut cream. So let's bring this up to the magic number of three. Just some plain water. If you were making this with regular stock, at this point you would add just regular stock. Or broth. But if you're using bone broth, you just want to use water. And let's add this now into here. And from here on, it's kind of a cruise. I want to show you this chicken that we have, which is rotisserie chicken. It came from Costco. I took it out of the package, the, the chunks are pretty large. So I shredded them and then we cut them in half so that they'd be kind of bite sized in your soup. This is about eight ounces worth going in here. This is gonna give you quite a bit of chicken in each bowl, but I think that's good. And you put it in here and let it kind of season in that soup. And then we're gonna add in the last of the seasonings, but they're what gives it its kind of Asian flair, I'd say. The first thing we're gonna add in is some lime juice. And as this is winter, when we're making this filming, the limes are really big, almost too big for my squeezer, so. <laughs> Instead of showing you the real neat trick with the half ones, I'm going to show you a real neat trick 
on what to do when they're too big. You put in a quarter of a lime, and it's still pretty big. But put that down here in your little squeezer part, in your little, where the holes are. Take the plunger, squeeze. That's one half quarter. And because these are so big and so juicy, we're gonna put in a half until we taste and see if we need the other half. We might, and we probably do, but I just don't want it to be too sour. So this is your sour. Your hot is your curry. Your sweet is your coconut milk. And your salty is this fish sauce. And I'd say add in about three of those. Click, 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 glug. And like I say, we're gonna taste this and see how it's coming out before we quit with our seasoning. But you can always add two, but it's really hard to take away. And fish sauce is a great flavor. And you have it in the background and it's a good seasoning. It gives you some really good salt and all that. And it's one of the things in this soup that makes it so special, but you just don't want to put too much. And if someone wants to add a little more to their bowl, they may put this on the table as, as an extra add-in. Okay, and here goes the last add-in. The somewhat controversial, but I think always just delicious, cilantro. Now, if you have a whole house full of cilantro eaters, or cilantro non-eaters, leave this out. If you have a whole house full of people that just love cilantro, add it up and serve some on the side extra. Don't ever discard the stems. They have as much flavor as, or more, than the leaves and are really good. That's where a lot of the good essential oils come from. But we're gonna add in say a pretty good bit of cilantro and we're, we're leaving like I say we're leaving the stems on so when people are ladling this up they're probably going to leave the cilantro in the soup because it might be hard to get a whole bunch of it in your in your bowl but that's fine you can chop some and put it on the table for garnish and we're going to let this cook for a minute, and we'll show you what it looks like when we get back. Okay, so the cilantro kind of cooked down a little bit, almost immediately. So let's take a little bit out and taste. It's a good bit of chicken. I think you're going to like this, and it's kind of meaty, you know, with this chicken in it. I think you're going to really like it. I do. And if you've got a favorite Thai restaurant across town that's not in your neighborhood at all, but you really crave this soup eventually, you'll like it and you'll make it. So I'm going to taste this. It's the first tasting. You might need to season a little more, but we'll see. needs to cook out a little longer. I want to put that other part of the lime in. Whoops. I want to put that other part of the lime in. Well, at least maybe another quarter lime. We'll save a quarter out for people to squeeze in if they need it. 
think it does need it a little bit. And I bet one more little splash of fish sauce. So give it a little more. That's the word, umami. That's the word. I hear chefs use it all the time and I've never used it, not once. And here it is, umami. We're gonna get that fish sauce. You know how that's made? It's made from these little Vietnamese food fish that are kind of like anchovies. And they dry them and ferment them and make this lovely sauce out of them. And don't ever smell it. Just, I'll just tell you, that's the secret. Don't ever smell it. But it is delicious. And we put another little splash in. Let's take our ladle out. Put it over here on the secret plate. This up. Stir it some more. And we'll check it again in about five minutes. And we'll be back at that point. I checked this for seasoning off camera and it the little bit more lime that we put in and the little bit more fish sauce we put in great so this recipe once you learn how to do it it takes no time to put together and it will be really great on today is a cold wintry day we're going to really enjoy having this for dinner tonight so that's what i would suggest just you know make a pot this makes about four servings or two large servings according to how you want to do it or a serving and then oops, a refill <laughs> but it's good you you know you're not going to have too much you know in there for add-ins you could add in i put carrots and you know shredded carrots in it before you could put in mushrooms if you like them you could put in um a lot of things and make this just or Keep it vegetarian and make it with the vegetable stock and put in some vegetables. There are so many ways that you can work around this system. And I'll in the recipe down on the website. I'm sure you say down below, but no, it won't be there. It'll be on our website. I'll leave you with some suggestions of some add-ins. <laughs> so, again, from Gimpy Gourmet, we want to thank you for joining us. We want to thank Dr. B. Moody, our wonderful visiting vet, for help sponsoring this video. If you like this, please give us a thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe. Hit the little bell so that we can notify you whenever we've got a new video going up. They're going up about two times a week. We're a little, you know, you won't know this by the time you see this, but we're, we'll be hitting you two times a week with some fabulous recipes and some easy ways to make cooking easier for you. So, as Warren Zevon said, enjoy every sandwich. I am told it comes back to you many folds. Just be true. All that sweet stuff comes back to you Be the apple of somebody's eye Be that